between the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers. And now running right through it. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And he'll be let out by the guy under center, Charles, their quarterback. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. And oh, he spins past him and into space. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run it now out of the gun. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. Fighting through and he's got space. And all the way down to the 25-yard line. 36 yards on the play. I know the game continues to evolve, and we have a lot of exotic stuff nowadays. I can't help it. I love a good old-fashioned draw play. Who's typically fooled on defense on a play like that, the, a successful draw play? Typically, it's the defensive line that's fooled because they're just pinning their ears back and going after the quarterback. And once they create some space and you get past them, you usually have a long way to go. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. And a second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Packers. A 10-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone. They do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves. Stick it in the end zone on a running play. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. So here are the Cowboys under head coach Jason Garrett as they get set for their first opportunity. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. I thought the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The offensive starters now for the Cowboys. So the big question today is, how will they play in this weather? Because you can recreate moisture, right? You can do wet ball drills, things of that nature. But snow, you cannot create that in practice. You can't prepare for it. You just have to deal with it. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Second and 10. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He lost two there, and it's third down. The last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction, so now what can they do on third? Throw left side complete. It's Hayes, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. And now comes the Cowboys punter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That's excellent. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. 13 yards, first down Packers. Sometimes you get just a little over-eager defensively when you've got people backed up because the mentality is to attack take the ball away, or at worst, just keep them backed up there for your own offense. They actually use their aggressiveness against them on that one and hit them big. Absolutely. Had them pinned on to two. Not anymore. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. 
Throwing again on second and ten. Star. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And nothing but daylight ahead. Touchdown, Packers. A big play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. And that'll give them a two-score lead here. But I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all. Because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. You always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And it's now 14 to nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. It's a short kick, taken at the 15. And a nifty return there as he's all the way up past the 40-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Yeah. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And nothing but green grass here. Middle of the field. And he will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. This first half has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, that's a defense's dream. They're having that type of a game. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for this offensive unit. Now the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kick's away following that fumble return. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. Now, that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. Following the fumble recovery, Meredith throwing middle, but it's incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Throwing on first down. Meredith, his throw incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their routes, and they're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut, balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. 
Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Throwing to start the drive. Star, he'll rifle this one. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead. A little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? A try here for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. The snow certainly making conditions difficult, and it's not likely to get better anytime soon as we turn it right back over to Brandon and Charles. Not much has changed since we left you at halftime. The snow is still continuing to fall as we are back underway. It's a very short kick taken by an up man. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. The 20, 10, touchdown, Cowboys. It's a kickoff return score on a squib kick, and the Cowboys get a bit closer. And people still trying to get back to their seats from the concession stand here at the start of the third quarter, and boom, we got points on the board. Oh, this is blocked. This is going the other way. Taking it right down Broadway. He's at the 40, 20, 10, and he takes it the distance across the goal line for two points. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. A nice little juke. Able to push his way through. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early. It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play that time for the Packers. 46 yards. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. No pass is completed. Been an easy day for them. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a whole lot. Zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. To throw again, Star. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. 23 yards for the touchdown as his guys continue to pour it on. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. Without a doubt, the fade route is tough to stop if your wide receiver and quarterback are on the same page and the ball is placed in the proper spot. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. 
short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And he'll return this one all the way onto the other side of the field. For a quick second there, I thought we were about to have a repeat performance of a kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy's on fire today. On first down, Meredith able to shake him off. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. 30, past the 20. And he will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. We know this defense has some playmakers. We saw it right there. Well, really, we've seen it the whole game. Isn't it nice to see that on the opposite side of the ball? Respect, my man. Respect. <laughs> the defensive guys are outscoring their opposing offense. Yeah, they're outscoring him indeed with that score alone. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead will swell by one more. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Looking to throw. Meredith. And he will find his man on the outside. He's at the 30, the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. A big play there. 60 yards. And the Cowboys are able to make things a bit more respectable. As a former DB, and now it's blocked. It's picked up a live ball here. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. He's at the 50, the 30, 20, 10. And he dives into the end zone and gets the two points. Following the botch PAT, they're set to kick this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know this. And that's caught inside the 35. And we'll get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A great play there. 70 yards as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're able to return this one all the way up to the 45. For a quick second there, I thought we were about to have a repeat performance of a kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy's on fire today. Good starting field position for him as they come up first and 10 at the 45. They'll try the left side. It's Reeves. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. To throw on second down, Meredith. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Back to throw. Meredith. And this is going to be incomplete. 
Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass first league. Averaging 50 yards a boot so far as this one's away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. He's going to rifle one deep left, and that's caught inside the 30. And he's free going down the left side. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. A big play there, 60 yards, as his guys continue to pour it on. The extra point splits the uprights. There is no doubt in my mind. And do you hear that? Do you hear the... It, it's not scales, right? I don't hear scales. Do I actually hear a tune think, being warbled? I think the fat lady's humming. Yeah, she's doing more than humming. Keep she's building it out she's right going. now. She's going. She's full bore. Yeah, this thing is flat out finished. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late, but he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. I can't help it, partner. I've got to get fired up. Two kickoff returns for touchdowns in the same game. This is fun to watch. Yeah, we call a lot of games at a lot of different places. Sometimes it seems like we do it simultaneously, but we rarely get to see this. Third time's the charm on the extra point as he gets this one to go. As they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. This is taken about seven yards deep. Broken tackle. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Throwing to start the drive. Star. He's going to run. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. Do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now a give, right side, Pitts. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now the Packers gonna burn their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And bulldozing through. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And let's not forget, he had the receiving touchdown earlier. Now a trio of rushing touchdowns. Quite a performance. Diversification. That's all you can talk about. His ability to do everything leaves him on the field on every down on offense because you can hand it to him as we've seen but you say three rushing touchdowns and of course throw it to him where he's caught one as well
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. No, either. you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. It'll be a loss of a yard. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. shot they'll look to throw and that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game a big offensive explosion help leading them